Hi guys, I'm Joe with Slices Concession. Today we're going to take a look at the Taylor 794. This machine is a three phase and what we're going to do is talk about the polarity and how it affects the ice cream that this machine makes. What we're going to notice with this machine is the beater design is designed to turn clockwise and when it turns clockwise it pushes ice cream toward the front of the machine while the, while the ice cream is being frozen. And as that product freezes and gets pushed forward, it gets ready in the faceplate. And when you pull that handle, you'll get a nice flow of ice cream out. What will happen with, with a reverse polarity on a three-phase machine only. If you have a single-phase machine, you don't have to worry about this. But on a three-phase machine, it is possible for this machine to be running this way, which is actually pulling the ice cream mix away from the faceplate and pushing it back up into the hopper. So what will happen typically if this machine is running backwards, is that it will create ice cream, but while it's creating ice cream, you're gonna pull the handle and you're gonna have no product come out. So we're about to talk about how to see what direction this machine's going and how to fix the problem. So what we're gonna do first in this machine is we just put power to it with our three phase. I'm gonna hold the magnet, if you can hear that click. If your machine is older than a, than a 2010, it's not going to need the magnet, but if it's newer than 2010, it'll need a magnet right here. And we're just going to put the machine on wash for a second. And we're going to see both beaters are spinning the wrong direction. So what we're going to do to change that, these are the standard three-phase outlet. You have your ground, you have your white wire at the bottom, and then you have your red and black on the sides. What we're going to do is just switch these two and that will change the direction of the, uh, of the beaters. If your machine's hardwired, instead of using a standard three phase outlet, you'll have a similar setup to this. And in this, in this setup you can see that we just match the colors up. You're always going to have a white, black, red, and a green. Your green is ground. The other three are going to be hot on a three phase. Um, each one of these is carrying 120 volts. So we're going to leave the white alone. The power is off on the wall. We're going to take off the black and the red, and we're just going to switch the black and the red. Now that we have those switched and they're nice and tight, we're going to power the machine back up. We're going to come up front with our magnet. And now our machine, our feeders are traveling the correct direction. So now that they're turning clockwise, when we put ice cream in here, we will get a, a consistent flow of, of fresh ice cream out the faceplate. For this information and much else, please visit us at slicesconcession.com.